We made it. It's Friday, and that's the truth. Welcome back. God bless you if you've made it this far. <laughs> I feel like this week's been especially uh, more heavy, but also I've been going a lot longer, and I'm really sorry for that. Unless you like them longer, then God bless you. Anyway, here we are. It's Friday. We're wrapping up this week. This theme of we cannot be afraid to speak the truth. We've heard why. We've heard it's a priority, God. We've heard it's not always easy, but it's necessary. We've heard that we need to speak this truth in love. And now I turn us to 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 14 through 18. You're going to speak the truth? So then what? Even, maybe some people won't take it well, as we talked about. This happened in the early church. They're not making this up. They experience this persecution. They experience those those glances, the negative commentary, the feedback, the trolling, and even death for speaking the truth. God bless their testimony. And their faithful witness helps us be the church that we are today. And so, in 1 Peter 3, 14 through 18, listen to what Peter writes to the people who are sharing the truth in their community and are facing adversity. Even if you do suffer for, what is, for doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. But in your heart sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands it from you, and accounting for the hope that is in you. you. Do it with gentleness and reverence. Keep your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who abuse you for your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if suffering should be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for the sins of all, for the righteous, for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but also made alive in the spirit. Speaking truth, perhaps even suffering for speaking that truth, is Christ-like. God lived it. God ministered and spoke truth, even in death and <laughs> beyond death and the resurrection, right? God knows this. God lived it. God walks the walk as long as talk the talk. Right? It's better to suffer for doing good than to suffer for doing evil. Right? Uh, it is better for us to speak hope and gentleness and reverence. It is better to do what is right instead of fear what they fear. Instead of being intimidated. Right? I, I do wonder to the people who received this letter from Peter. Maybe they were hoping Peter would be like, you know what? You guys can lay low for a while. Uh, take a break. You've earned it. Um, it's, it's getting a little dicey. Why don't you pull out? <laughs> and instead they get this. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, it's better to suffer speaking the truth than the alternative, right? Um, I think it's words of inspiration. Because if God cares about speaking the truth, and God wants us to speak the truth, the expectation is clear that that is part of our collective ministry together is to speak the truth, even if it's not popular. I see this as inspirational and even aspirational. That God cares enough to invest this in this ministry into us. Even if it's hard. I mean, I'm sorry, but the most important things in life usually are difficult. Anything that matters takes work. So yeah, maybe it would be nice to hear, take a break, don't worry about it. But that is not a way to live fully. Yes, we need rest. I'm not saying that. But it shouldn't be our mission. Our mission is not to, to pacify. Our mission is not to appease. Our mission is not to um, be comfortable. 
Our mission is to speak the truth. No matter the consequence. Thanks be to God. All right. We made it. And again, thank you for uh, having coffee with me, for all your feedback, your conversations. I hope these are conversation starters for you and uh, whoever you're talking with. This is how we, we grow in our faith. We ask questions. We have breakthroughs. We're challenged and pushed. And we learn and grow. Thank you for being with us. Have a good weekend, and I will see you on Sunday.